we witnessed at our nation's capital has raised concerns over whether something like this could happen at our own state capital. It has made some feel vulnerable and question whether enough is being done to tighten security. Chief Capitol reporter Susan Raff is live at the state legislative office building in Hartford with all of those details. Susan. Aaron, we are live at the Legislative Office Building, which is attached to the state capitol. And to get in either of these buildings, you have to go through metal detectors. But let's face it, if you have an angry crowd of thousands of people, you're going to need a lot more. The state capitol is where protesters want to be heard. This week, at opening day of the legislature, three different groups had plenty to say to lawmakers. And things even got a little ugly when a woman spit on someone. But like in most cases, there was no violence. However, what we saw at the nation's capital was violent and scary. It's a moment that I think we'll all remember, unfortunately, for a long time. Matt Ritter was sworn in Wednesday as the House Speaker. He and other state lawmakers are concerned. Several things have been done to improve security at the Capitol complex. Metal detectors were installed shortly after the mass shootings at Sandy Hook. And many more cameras have been added, and a lot of attention is placed on Internet threats. We have officers and security techs at the doors for any entrances that come in. We have uh, increased our outside patrols, so we have officers outside and cruisers are walking around. So we've tried to do our best to maintain the level we've had, and we're also understanding that maybe for the future we have to increase a little bit. The Capitol Police patrol regularly inside and around the complex. They have roughly 30 officers. Yeah, the debates get heated, uh, but I, for one, um, you know, again, trust in the Capitol Police. Um, they do a, a lot of things that the public is not aware of to keep legislators safe. I think that's fair to say. And um, I know that if I need them or if members need them, uh, they'll get the protection that they need. The House Speaker says he has a lot of confidence in the Capitol Police, but he has, has asked them to assess the situation to see if improvements need to be made. And coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, why some say we should not be surprised with what we are seeing across our country as far as these violent rallies and riots and why they feel they could continue. We are live at the Legislative Office Building in Hartford, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.